Okay, maybe you add Varane instead of Evans. I don't know why Evans started the game. And right now, with all the injuries and everything, it looked like this the starting eleven that we saw on Wednesday night against Copenhagen is the he's the starting eleven. He, he's Ten Hag's best team now. But but Mason Mount. But that's what that then <laughs> no, but that's interesting, Gary, because then we go, is really the Scott McTominay Ericsson partnership really that for the is that is that what Ten Hag can come up with the best in midfield? No. It's not. What, about it's Mar- what about Amrabat? What about Casemiro when fit? But, yeah, but Casemiro is not fit. So take, take the players who right. you can play now. I would not have started McTominay and everything. And I know the first half hour they did well. But it worked. It worked. It, but could it work over 90 minutes? Um, I don't think Ericsson can really run a game for 90 minutes at all. I mean, he can't run full stop anymore. But, but boss a game and run a game, I'm not even sure he can. And Scott McTominay is definitely not, cannot anymore. He was good on the first goal. Okay, it's a good... It's a good run in the half space. Nice. He does those well. Great assist. No problem. But over 90 minutes, I, I mean, for me, Amrabat should start. He should play. He should start. And why, would you, why did you buy Mason Mount then? Why did you make like five different offers? You insisted he's, to sign him and now you don't use him. He's coming back from injury and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I think that's... No, he's the, been back for a while now. It's hard to integrate Mason Mount. I think, I think in his view, Mason Mount was going to do the Ericsson job, right? And his view is going to be Casemiro Mount and then Bruno in front. The, 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 this was his vision, right? Well, do Amrabat, Mount and Bruno then? And give it a go. I just think Mason Mount deserves a, he deserves a chance now. Because clearly a lot of things are not working right now. If it was a, a team cruising with great momentum, you didn't want to disrupt anything... I understand, and I think that's why he also kept the Evans Maguire partnership. Although Varane has been fit for four games yeah, now, I want to ask bench. about this. I want to ask about this because, frankly, he, if you get an older player like Johnny Evans, I'm sure he's fit and everything and whatever, and you like his experience, and you keep if he plays as many games in a row, he's either going to have a stinker, and he's had a couple of bad games yeah. already, by yeah. the way, or he's going to get injured. Which hey, look, that's what he's, he's injured. Yeah. I mean, it's freaking Evans and Maguire. Yeah. And you have Varane. Was Varane fit? Has Varane been fit these last couple yeah. of games? So he's making a deliberate decision. Yeah. It's not because Varane is made of glass, as no. I like to say, and everything, right? No. He's choosing. Yeah. Can you explain this? The only reason, Gav, I can see, No, I think it's stability, maybe. In the sense that, okay, now we can't, have, we can't keep changing and changing and changing again. I think for the team in yeah, general as a whole... But also those kind of partnerships together. So two in midfield, let's say Ericsson McTominay, the two centre backs together. Even sometimes your right back, right and your right winger, your left back and your left winger. And this but, is but, sorry, but even but, that reason, Gab, I find it like really far fetched in a way. That you keep Varan and don't get me started on, you know, is Johnny Evans better than Rafael? No. So I don't I don't really know why. But also, Lindelof's not gonna be injured forever, right? No. So Presumably, you have a hierarchy, right? And at the beginning of the season, yeah. in your view, your hierarchy was Varane, Lisandro, yeah. and then Lindelof, and Maguire was the guy you never wanted to see again, and Evans was the guy you signed, you found, you know, you, you signed off up. the street, right? Yeah. Uh, this was your hierarchy. Well, what message does it send I if agree. two and a half months in, all of a sudden, you know, numbers four and five, like Maguire wasn't even number four, Maguire wasn't on the yeah, list yeah. at all. He was on the transfer right? list, that's where it was. Ah. I don't understand that part.